my kittens. What's the matter? Mom won't play with us, Grandpa. Yeah. She says she's too busy taking care of Dad. All he's got is the dumb old flu. Yeah, that stinks. She didn't want to play with me either. How about we played together? Can we make up a story about a kangaroo? Yeah, whose parents didn't pay any attention to him. And we can call it Pay Attention to Me. <laughs> <laughs> In a land far, far away, there once lived a kangaroo family. And they loved playing together. One day, baby Joey was born. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> Soon, Roo felt like his parents never had any time for him. Mom, want to play bungo? Sorry, Roo. I need to feed your baby sister right now. Again. Dad, will you play bungo with me? I can't right now. I need to change your sister's diaper. Again? How about when you're done? Sorry, but Mom and I need to go out shopping after this. But we'll find you a sitter. Maybe the sitter can play bungo with you. Hey, we can be the sitters and play bungo with Rue. And what about taking care of the baby? Piece of cake, Grandpa. How hard could it be? Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's, let's go! go! Great. We won't be long. Milk is in the kitchen, and diapers are next to the crib. Take your time. We got this. Okay, Rue. It's time for you and us to play. Finally. I get some attention. Let's play Bungo. Sure. You're first. Pick one of the pieces. <laughs> Ugh. Don't worry, we got this. Why is she crying? She's probably hungry. Oh, I'll get her milk. What is that? Milk. She can't drink cold milk from a glass. She needs a warm bottle. Here you go, baby. See, this is easy. Let's get back to our game. Now what? He, you! What's that smell? She pooped. That's what babies do. A lot. You need to change her diaper. You take it off. No, you take it off. No, you! Ugh, get out of the way. It's okay, baby. Big Brother is changing your diaper. Yeah. There you go, all clean. Why don't you take a nap? That was easy. Shh. Let's get back to our game. It's my turn. Bungo! Sorry. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay baby. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, she won't stop. She likes when my parents carry her and rock her like this. of babies is a lot of work. No kidding. Hi, we're home. Shh. What's that? It's a present for you. Wow, it's the bowling set I wanted. We know that baby has been getting so much of our attention lately. We think it's time that you get some. Let's play. I know you want to play, Mom, but right now I need to get my sister to sleep. Good night, sweetie. <laughs> what a great story, Grandpa. Hey, Kit, let's see if Mom can use some help taking care of Dad. Good idea. It's a lot of work. But then who's going to pay attention to me? You want us to bring you some more milk? That sounds nice. But we don't change diapers. <laughs> <laughs> hey! And that's how I climbed the highest mountain in the world on a pogo stick. Really, Grandpa? Nah, it's just a story I made up. <laughs> I knew it. Let's make up a story together. About a baby dragon. And what did the baby dragon do? Breathe fire.
fire. Oh, and what should we call it? I know. My first flame. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a baby dragon. Who came from a famous fire-breathing family. Fire-breathing is what we do best. Son, you have a bright future ahead of you. Baby Dragon loved to brag and tell everyone how great he was. Hey, look at me jump! That's nothing. I can breathe fire. Wow. Wish I could do that. Whoa. In fact, I'm in the Grimace Book of World Records for being the youngest dragon ever to breathe fire. That's a cool dragon. We should be friends with him. And go camping. Yeah, he can keep us warm. And make a fire for cooking. Marshmallows! Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Hi, would you like to go camping with us? Sure. Can you light a fire to keep us warm? Of course. And cook our food? Uh, sure. This will be so much fun! The campers took their gear and set up camp. They put up their tents and collected wood for their fire. Then Baby Dragon tried to start a fire, but when he opened his mouth, out came bubbles! <laughs> bubbles are fun. But we need fire. Yeah, we're freezing. Please, light the fire already. We want to toast marshmallows. Okay. But when Baby Dragon opened his mouth, out came a really loud noise. <laughs> Hang on, I just gotta warm up. But this time when he opened his mouth, out came a bird. Can you really breathe fire? Uh, I guess not. But I wish I could, just like my dad. Wishing you can do something isn't the same as being able to. Why did you tell us you could? So you'd think I was cool. But now we're just cold. And hungry. And stuck in the dark. What are we going to do? I know. Make that loud noise again so someone can find us. Here you are. What a great noise you made. I wish I could do that. You all look very cold. How about a fire? That sounds perfect. So, how are those marshmallows? Nice, nice and warm. What's wrong? I'm glad you found us, but I wish I could breathe fire. Son, it's time for your first fire-breathing lesson. Remember, no breathing fire without a big dragon around. I promise. All right, try doing this. Breathe in right nostril, breathe out left nostril. Now inhale both nostrils and blow. Look, I'm the best, I'm the best. Well, I'm pretty good. See, you learned how to make your first flame. And I also learned that you shouldn't make promises that you can't keep. And that baby dragon shouldn't make fire without a big dragon around. Ain't that the truth? That was a great story. Yeah, very enlightening. And that's a great word. Now, did I ever tell you about my trip to the land of the inside out mushrooms? Grandpa! It's true. Once upon a time, I told an unbelievable, totally made up story about the land of the inside out mushrooms. <laughs> Kit, where's my stuffed lamb? Is this it, Kate? That's a giraffe. Oh, I thought maybe it was a lamb with a really long neck. Is this it? That's an octopus. Or maybe a lamb disguised as an octopus. <laughs> I found it! Hey, let's make up a story. About a lamb. Who lost her hat. That had a big fluffy pom-pom on top. Great! What should we call it? I got it! The right fluff! <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little lamb who lost her hat. She was very upset because it was her lucky hat. 
And ever since she lost it, everything was going wrong. First, she tripped. Over a turtle. Oh, oh. Then something fell on her head. It was a giant walnut. It didn't hurt. No, but then it started raining. Raining pickles? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It wasn't raining pickles, but it was raining hard. Oh, what a disaster. But then the little lamb met... Two traveling musicians. Yeah, we can be the musicians. La, 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 la. Go, kitty kitties, let's go. you find it? But it's hopeless. It could be any place in the entire world. Any place in the entire universe. You've got a big problem. But we got a big song that might help. We met a lamb who lost her hat. Imagine that she lost her hat. Now think of the place where you were last. And then we'll step into the past. Yeah. We can find your hat if we take things one step at a time. I heard a noise that went boom, boom, boom. A cannon factory? No. A, a disco? No. Now I remember. A drum store. I love drums. Me too. But your hat's not here. We'll just have to keep on looking. So think of the place you were before, and we'll go back a little more. I saw the color red. A cardinal convention? <laughs> no. Uh, a tomato toss? No. I got it. It was a rose garden. No hat here. I hope we find it soon. This space is heavy. Then think of the place you were before this, then maybe you'll find that thing that you miss. I remember. There was splashing water. A waterfall? No. A bathtub. No. I've got it. I was doing dishes. It was steamy and hot. I took off my hat to cool off and put it right... Hey, here it is. My hat. Now that I have my lucky hat back, things are going to be great! Watch out! Oh, uh, oh, oh, whoa. I sure am glad I tripped over that turtle! What a great sound! I love drums! Yay! Rain! Let's go play in the puddles! <laughs> as long as she's happy. So the little lamb finally found her lucky hat. Because a big problem isn't so big when you take it one step at a time. One more lucky hat. We've read this bedtime story a hundred times. Really, Grandpa? Well, maybe I'm exaggerating, but let's make up a new one. Yeah, it can be in outer space. On planet... Squidula! Where the space squids live. And we'll call it... The Space Squid Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a space squid kid. He kept his room very neat. A place for every jar of slime and every jar of slime in its place. One day, Papa Space Squid and Mama Space Squid came in and said, it's too clean in here. You have to make a mess. Aw, oh, man. I mean, aw, oh, squid. You see, on Earth, parents tell their kids to clean up, but space squid parents tell their kids to do the opposite. This room is spotless. I'm so disappointed. When we get back, it better be a total wreck. I hate doing chores. That should do it. Soon, Earthling astronauts approached planet Squidula. 
Commander Scrub and Commander Bubbles of the Cosmic Cleanup Squad. <gasps> I'll be Commander Scrub. Oh, and I'll be Commander Bubbles. Go, kitty kitties, let's go! Look at that stinky planet, Commander Scrub. They need our help, Commander Bubbles. You're right. Let's go investigate. <laughs> I wonder who lives here, Commander Scrub. Obviously someone grubby, Commander Bubbles. Let's help out. We'll straighten up. All that cleaning makes me hungry. Let's go back to the rocket ship. I've got some crackers. But don't make crumbs. Space squid son? Why is this place still neat? Are you too lazy to make a mess? But I did. I, uh, um, how did this happen? You tell me. Your room didn't clean itself. Try again. When we come back, it better be dirty and disgusting. Enough. My tentacles are tired. <laughs> what happened here? I guess we ought to put things in order. All that cleaning makes me hungry. Let's go back to the rocket ship for a snack. Yay! We can wash our hands again. Space squid son? This place is immaculate. You could eat off the floor. But it wasn't me who could... Get up with the excuses. Make it look like a disaster area ASAP. If you do a good job, we'll go for ice cream at the Melting Meteor. <sighs> no fair. Who are you? I'm the Space Squid Kid. I live here. Don't worry, we'll help you clean this up. Again? Wait, stop! Huh? On Planet Squidula, kids make the rooms messy. Not neat. Really? We've never been to a planet like that before. Sorry. We should have asked you how we could help before we did anything. So, shall we make a mess? The messiest! And after they finished making the messiest mess in the galaxy... <sighs> Is this story almost over? We're tired. I thought all kids want to stay up late. Not us. Can we wrap it up? It's just like the story, Grandpa. Ask someone what they want before giving them something they don't want. And we, we want to go to bed. So the Space Squid Kids' parents came back and said, what a marvelous mess you made with your friends. Now we can go for that ice cream. Just make sure you get it all over yourself. The end. <laughs> Why aren't you playing with your friends? The sun went down. It's too dark for hide-and-seek. Yeah. It turned into hide-and-seek and crash into each other. We'll finish tomorrow. But what are we going to do for fun till then? Why don't we make up a story? About a bat. Who doesn't like the night. And we can call it Bernie the Bat. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time lived Bernie the Bat. The other bats were nocturnal, but not Bernie. What's nocturnal mean? Active at night. Hey, Bernie, I'm going to go hunt Nipsey flies. Want to come? Nah, not my thing. Well, how about bat robotics? No, thanks. All right, then go with me to the group swoop. Pass. Well, well what, what do, do you, you like, like to do? do? Bernie the bat liked to collect puddle water. And he liked to make pickles, too. But most of all, he loved to dance the cha-cha-cha. Oh, yes, it's true that most bats like the night. But I'm a bat that digs the light. I don't mind the bright rays of the sun that shine on me while I have fun. Cha-cha-cha! What a weirdo. Always alone. It's hard to believe he's a bat. Poor Bernie. He's lonely. And afraid of the dark. Like me. I mean, sometimes. We should help Bernie not be scared. So he can stay up late. And have lots of bat friends. Go, 
kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate are here to help Bernie the Bat conquer fear. Here's a nightlight. It'll help you feel safer. Oh, uh, thanks, but really, I... Now, hold hands with us. I will fight my fear of the night. I will fight my fear of the night. Imagine the moon is your friend. Now, breathe deeply. Are you feeling peaceful and calm yet? Hey, our friend the moon just disappeared behind the cloud. It is kind of creepy in the woods at night. Let's get out of here. Calm down. Calm down. Calm, calm down. down. Calm, calm down. down. There's nothing to be scared of. I'm not afraid. You're not? No, I just prefer the day. Now let me get some sleep so I can collect puddle water tomorrow. It's the height of the season. Walk that way. <sighs> You'll be out of here in no time. Bernie's still alone. Aw, he's never going to make any bat friends. Ah, good morning. Shh. Go back to sleep, will ya? I thought owls were nocturnal. What's that mean? Active at night. Well, Olan sure isn't. She's one odd owl. Doesn't care about head rotation or feather fluffing competitions. They're boring. She likes to collect puddle water. It's fun and make pickles. Gross. They're delicious. And dance the cha-cha-cha? How did you know? There's, There's someone, someone you have to meet. Bernie, this is Olan. Pleasure, Pleasure to, to meet you. you. There's no reason bats have to only stick with bats and owls with owls. You two have so many things in common. And that's how Bernie the Bat and Olan the Owl became the bestest friends. Oh, yes, it's true, you're a bird and I'm a bat. But being friends is where it's at. Anytime we play, it's ha, ha. And every time we dance, it's cha-cha-cha. So you see, you don't have to change who you are to fit in. Right, because there are others somewhere who like what you do. All you have to do is go out there and find them. So that is how our story ends, with a bat and an owl as daytime friends. <laughs> Flying carpet? Nope, just a regular rug for your bedroom. Aren't the colors pretty? If it doesn't fly, what does it do? It covers the floor. Come, kittens, feel how soft it is. Can you take it back? Take it back? Why? Don't you want it? What good is a carpet that can't fly? Good point. I'll bring it back tomorrow. But before I roll it up, let's all sit here and make up a story. Okay. About a jiggle bug. A jiggle bug. What's her name? I know. Gigi the jiggle bug. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time on the planet Zebulon, there lived two best friends, Gigi the jiggle bug. That's me. And her best friend, Juju. We're the best friends ever. Gigi and Juju would spend every day playing together and having fun. They would... Raise up the walls and across the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Light up their antennas and dance to the music. Jiggle, jiggle bugs, wiggle, jiggle bugs. Jiggle, jaggle, wiggle, waggle, jiggle, jiggle bugs. And fly high in the sky and do loop-the-loops. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but one day, Juju said... I'll see you next week, Gigi. I'm going to my grandma's. But who, who will I play with? She can play with us. Yeah, we can be friends with Gigi. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! I wonder if this planet has doorbells. Look, it's Gigi. Hello, visitors from another planet. Do you want to play with me? You read our minds. Yeah, weird. How'd you do that? I'm so glad I have new friends. Let's raise up the walls and across the ceiling. Um, we can't do that. We're kittens. You are? Oh, 
Well, that's all right. Do you like to dance? We love to dance. Good. Let's all light up our antennas and dance the jiggle bug dance. Jiggle jiggle bugs, wiggle jiggle bugs, jiggle jaggle wiggle waggle jiggle jiggle. Hey, what's the matter? We can't do that either. You can't? Why not? We're just kittens. We don't have antennas. Yeah, I see. Well, that's okay. Uh, we'll just fly loop the loops. Do you want to tell her or should I? Tell me what? We're just kittens. And you can't fly. What good are new friends if they can't even fly? I wish I could only play with my best friend, Juju. Wow! <laughs> Gigi! <laughs> Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I banged my antenna, my arm, and my leg. Can you do this? <laughs> yeah. Can you do this? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Why? What does it mean? It means you can still do the jiggle bug dance. That's right! I can! Jiggle jiggle bugs, wiggle jiggle bugs, jiggle jaggle wiggle waggle jiggle jiggle bugs. Jiggle jiggle bugs, wiggle jiggle bugs, jiggle jaggle wiggle waggle jiggle jiggle bugs. Maybe you can't do the things I do with Juju, but you can still make me feel good. I guess that means you really are my new friends. And so Gigi the Jigglebug realized she should appreciate her new friends for what they can do, not for what they can't. That was a great story. Glad you liked it. Now, everybody off the rug, time to roll it up. Aw, do you have to take it back? It's so soft and warm. And the colors are really pretty. That's true, but it doesn't fly. Yeah, but it's great for sitting on. And making up stories. Well, all right, but no space boots on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh, de per cologne. I'm going to smell nice. <coughs> Maybe use a little less, Grandpa. Yeah, that way it'll <coughs> last longer. But I love my present so much. Grandpa, uh, it, it, it's time for your birthday story. It's a story about a skunk. Who doesn't smell at all. And we'll call the story The Missing Stink. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a skunk named Skip. All his skunk friends were very smelly. Everyone runs away when I walk by. <gasps> Well, everyone faints when I walk by. Yeah, but I wish I could smell as bad as you, Skip. And he's so modest about it. <sighs> I'm tired of making believe I smell bad when it's the cheese under my armpits doing all the work. I can't live this lie any longer. That's it. I'm gonna find my stink. I need to think. Where is my stink? Musty, putrid, stale, and rank. Moldy, gross, a funky stank. Where is my stink? I need to think. Might my missing stink be found hiding in a garbage mound? Ah, yes! Garbage! Now I reek! The stink is going away. I went from super smelly to sorta smelly. <laughs> and now I don't smell at all. Where is my stink? stink. I need to think. Stink. Could my stink be something vile buried in a laundry pile? Unwashed laundry should be nasty. Ah, the sweet, sweet smell of sweat. Dirty socks from foul feet. Sure to offend even stuffy noses. Oh, no, the stink is going away! Ah, this isn't working. I can't find a stink that stays stinky. I need a stink master who can teach me the ways of the whiff. We gotta help him find his stink. Yeah, let's be stink masters. Who know all about smelliness. Go, go kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! go! 
Two stink masters. Yes, I am Mr. Miyaki. I shall help you achieve aroma. And they call me Master Oda. May the stench be with you. Skip son, what is it you wish for? I want to be like my friend, Smelly. Well, where did the other skunks find their stink? I don't know, they just have it. All skunks do. And you do too. No need to think. To find your stink, stink. must be putrid, stale, and rank. You're missing stink, your funky stank. To find your stink, stink. you shouldn't stink. think. Stink. No need to travel far and wide. Just take a look inside. Huh? Yeah. Nothing. And I try so hard. Then try less hard. Well, I guess if I smell good or don't smell at all, I'm fine the way I am. Wise words. Words that are wise. Hey, you! It wasn't me. You mean... Yes, it was your inner stink. You see, stink comes out naturally when you let it happen. Yup, it sure does. <coughs> High five, my man. You're as ripe as a used diaper today. So Skip found what he was looking for by just being himself. What a great story, kittens. Happy birthday, Dad. I got you a present. Meow number five? I'm gonna <laughs> smell nice. 